A seductive attack is being launched on Ripple's institutional operations and XRP advocate is raising the alarm. In the Ripple SEC affair, which has exposed a critical struggle for its operations and been replicated by XRP advocate, Ripple is requesting an extension of its discovery. Uh, Ripple's asking for this prolongation. Fred, one of the most significant developments in the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple. The blockchain startup has formally asked for a brief postponement of the discovery date to address the remedies that the SEC has sought for Ripple post-complaint contracts and financial statements over the last two years. Uh, Ripple plans to abide by the request from the SEC. In a statement released in reaction to the announcement, legal expert and advocate Fred Rizzoli voiced his concerns about the current judicial processes. He highlighted that for Ripple to preserve its institutional operations and maintain its economic interest while negotiating the complex regulatory landscape, the company must adhere to all applicable laws. The company's significance of the present phase of the litigation was raised by Rizal especially considering that the SEC is looking into Ripple's operations following the decision on the application for summary judgment. The gravity of the situation is shown by Rispoli's remarks. There's no safe space. Despite Ripple's best efforts to uphold its business model and fulfill its regulatory obligations simultaneously. The request for an extension shows that legal disputes still exist between the SEC's Ripple Labs. The owners of XRP are closely monitoring the judicial proceedings and taking note of any developments that might affect Ripple and the sector at large. This debate's conclusion will have a significant impact. Highlighting the ongoing challenges blockchain businesses face in navigating regulations in general, the need for additional time to finish the discovery phase is a sign of the ongoing hostility between Ripple and the SEC, who are embroiled in a complicated legal battle that could have an impact on XRP in the cryptocurrency market in the years to come. Judgment while CP is still under its jurisdiction. Plans may be impacted by the Securities and Exchange Commission's increased scrutiny. The agency is the subject of a letter from us senators outlining its immoral behavior. The SEC aims to appeal the programmatic sales ruling. Senators J.D. Vance and J.D. Vance wrote a letter to Gary Gensler, the head of the Securities and Exchange Commission, regarding the debt box case and litigation. For the second straight session... Investors were enthralled by our, our MPs on Thursday. Uh, it is untrue that Cynthia Lumi's Bill Haggerty and Tom Tillis, following the issuance of a restraining order, the defendant's personal and company assets were frozen. The debt box was shut down and the native token of the debt box dropped by more than 56. The senators brought up the fallout from the CC case against debts, emphasizing how unacceptable it is for any federal agency to conduct business in such a dishonest and rude manner. Additionally, the senators emphasize the consequences of making their speeches. This case shows that the commission should look into additional enforcement proceedings that it initiates, regardless of whether the staff members of the commission purposefully submitted false information or accidentally provided erroneous information. This is true whether the personnel of the commission purposefully gave false information or accidentally provided false information when other situations are built on shaky facts. It is Hard to have faith in The Social Security Administration filed a motion to dismiss the allegations made against him on January 30, 2024. Rather than deal with more legal scrutiny, the Securities and Exchange Commission decided to drop the allegations. The claims were put aside with the use of obfuscations or outright lies. A court order from December 2023 states that the Securities and Exchange Commission must explain to the court why it is exempt from sanctions for giving false and misleading representations. In the current legal dispute between Ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission. The attention has switched to former SAC Director Bill Heyman, even though condemnation of the agency for immoral behavior is not new. Percent. Behavior, according to high man, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, were deemed to be no longer securities in 2018. Both the Hyman and the SEC ethics group papers, which emphasize how important Ethereum was, are included in this assertion. This was before the Hyman's employment with the enterprise Ethereum advocacy group Simpson Thatcher. After leaving the SEC in December 2021, Henman returned to his position of authority at Simpson Thatcher. The U.S. government watchdog group Oversight filed a lawsuit against the Securities and Exchange Commission, citing allegations made by Empower Oversight that a former SEC official had targeted Ripple Labs and XRP and that Henman had received millions of dollars from Simpson Thatcher while assisting the SEC in monitoring the U.S. Bitcoin market. This is fascinating to me. Documents connected to Hyman's contentious speech indicate that he met with Simpson even after the SEC Ethics Unit alerted him to the possibility that the outcome of the lawsuit might be greatly affected by 
a thorough examination of the series of events leading up to the SEC's defamatory allegations against Ripple. Furthermore, the disguise inspection may affect the SEC's efforts to appeal the ruling on the programmatic sales of XR. Uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission may have trouble downplaying the relevance of the papers about him and his statements if they try to invoke the attorney-client privilege principle. At least six attempts were made in a row by the SEC to hide the documents related to the Hyman speech. The price movement is sending out bearish price signs, according to the weekly XRP chart, with XRP setting below the 50-day and 200-day exponential moving averages. The cryptocurrency displayed bearish price indicators on both the weekly and daily charts. If the price were to break above the 0.52 handle, the 0.5 resistance level, and the 50-day exponential moving average would be in play. And it would be possible for the bulls to break over the 100-day exponential moving average. The, the relative strength index rating for XRP over the last 14 days has been 42, indicating that the cryptocurrency is about to enter an oversold state. The daily chart of XRP issued this morning confirmed bearish price cues. Furthermore, the company has changed its approach to selling XRP to institutional buyers, According to a notice it made, significant legal successes throughout the quarter were highlighted in Ripple's quarterly report for the fourth quarter of 2023, which was released on February 7, 2023. Puppies upgrades were put into place even before the public's overall July 131 judgment and the partial triumph over the SEC with these verdicts, which not only demonstrated Ripple's dedication to fair play and moral business standards, but also made it very clear that XRP is not regarded as a security under federal law. The cryptocurrency sector celebrated a historic victory. This change in viewpoint has broader effects, such as how digital tokens are classified. Although Ripple's licensing process has not yet been finished in its entirety, the company's response to the court ruling by changing the way it sells XRP shows that it is committed to following the law and creating an equitable cryptocurrency environment. These adjustments have shown Ripple's creativity in adhering to cryptocurrency regulations. The report also provides a thorough examination of Ripple's global compliance efforts, showcasing the business's most significant licensing achievements. The Central Bank of Ireland has registered Ripple as a provider of virtual asset services, while the Monetary Authority of Singapore has permitted Ripple to operate as a significant payment institution. Payment, the Central Bank of Ireland released these two regulations. Uh, a great lot of success was achieved in each of these undertakings. Uh, on the other hand, these accomplishments are crucial to Ripple's goal of adhering to the global norm. This indicates that Ripple is dedicated to following the rules of the global financial system and bringing its services to more places. The significant increase in XRP trading volumes in the fourth quarter of 2023, which saw an increase to an average of $600 million per day in spot trading volume for XRP mirrored the overall rising trend in the cryptocurrency industry. Ripple reported this data in the report, and it appears that there is more to this increase in trade activity than meets the eye. That's all for now.